Welcome to the Rock's Kitchen. Today's edition is the chicken crusted pizza. Let's show you what we got going on here with chicken crusted pizza. Come on over. Got some simple ingredients. We got our chicken, our ground chicken. Got some peppers and onions. We got our peppers. We got our basil, oregano, a little sauce. Got a little bit of um, peppers over here as well. So let's take it on what we got to do. Very simple, we're going to take our mixing bowl. We're going to take our ground chicken. We're just really going to dump it right in there. We're going to take a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese. Going to get it on up in there. Get it on up in there. We're going to take a quarter cup of mozzarella cheese. Which is that right there. Going to get it on up. Going to get it on up. I'm going to go with a quarter cup, of, uh, a quarter, excuse me, not a quarter cup, but a quarter teaspoon of pepper. All right. And then we're going to go with a little bit of basil and a little bit of oregano. Now, you don't want to overpower this, this recipe with the, with the basil. I was wondering what was going on here, all right. Don't want to overpower it. That's it. No more. That gives us our Italian style seasoning. Same thing with the oregano. And that's it. Now, got all three there. Now basically we're going to take these hands right here. Alright? And we're going to mix it up. Get it nice and that's it just want to mix it all up then we simply move it over to our parchment paper make sure we get everything out here right on over here to our parchment paper And this is where you will want to get yourself a nice piece of the um, either parchment paper or saran wrap. I'm going to go with saran wrap. And the reason being, we're just really going to fill this out. See how I'm just pushing it out? Pushing it down, pushing it down. We want to make it flat as possible. Doesn't necessarily have to be round. Just really needs to fit in this pan. Oh, and very important. Spray the parchment paper, people. Spray, I mean, excuse me, spray the uh spray the cookie sheet. Where you got your parchment paper at. Just keep pushing it out just like that. Now, a lot of people keep asking me, Rock, where you learn how to cook at? Listen, it ain't about learning how to cook. It's about following directions. That's all cooking is. Following directions. Making sure that you step by step. Don't miss a step. Don't think that you can, you know, Take this and take that and I don't need that ingredient. I don't need that ingredient. Sometimes you can do that. Not always. Not always. So there. Got ourselves a nice flattened out piece of chicken with all those yummy recipes in there. Now, remember what I told you guys that I was, right? Olivia, what am I? <laughs> what kind of guy am I? A garlic guy. A garlic guy. So I've got to coat my pizza with a little bit of garlic powder. That's just me. It's how I get down. It's what I like. 
Boom, give it a little flavor. And all we're gonna do, you're gonna preheat your oven to 400. You're gonna take your oven, slide it right up in there. And that's it for right now. You're gonna put that in there for about 20 minutes. This recipe here came to us from Paula Watkins Banks. Paula Watkins Banks, PWB. That's my girl, two fingers girl, how you doing? Anyway, came to, came to us from there. You know what, I wanted to try a different style of pizza. You know, we've been doing and rocking the cauliflower pizza. Rocking that, that takes a long time to process. It's about 40 minutes here. You're talking about 20 minutes. So you're not really, you know, slaving in the kitchen, if you will, for an hour on a pizza dough, on just a pizza dough. So just to give you an idea of what we did here again, we took, the, we took our ground chicken, we mixed up some of the flavors, we did a quarter, quarter cup of mozzarella, quarter cup of Parmesan. We also put some uh, pepper in there. We uh, put a little bit of oregano, put a little basil in there, give it a little funk to it, you know what I mean? Give you that pizza taste, that's why you're putting it in there. And then we went ahead and popped that bad boy down on some parchment paper, flattened it out, threw it in the oven. 20 minutes is all it's gonna take to get nice golden and brown, all right? So be patient with that. On a side piece, what we're having for a side, as always, is going to be some type of vegetable. That vegetable today is still, again, spinach. I can eat spinach every single day. Just call me Popeye. All right. Um, and that's really it. So I'm going to pause for the cause. When we come back, you're going to see that nice golden brown color that the chicken makes. It tastes nice and good. And we'll be plated in about 20, 25 minutes. Be right back. Rock's Kitchen. Two fingers. Pause for the cause. All right, guys, we're back. Let's see what we got coming into the stove. We should be good. Okay. All right. Looks like a big, uh, a big piece of sausage, to be honest with you. But look how, how tough that is. That's pretty good. So, I'm just going to bring it on over, just like you would any other pizza, whatever you're going to do. You're going to start putting your toppings on. So, the one thing that you're going to do is going to get yourself... sauce. Low sodium, no sugar added. Very important. And don't worry, this is the only thing that this is going to be used for. So, and there we go. You don't want to drown it. You want to get enough sauce on it. Get it all the way around. Now this calls for barbecue sauce as well. But for me, I'm eliminating the barbecue sauce. You can add it on there if you like. Just make sure you get yourself a low-cal, low-sugar barbecue sauce. Um, there's no other reason as to why I didn't do the barbecue sauce other than the fact I forgot it behind it. So, that's that. We add the rest of our uh, toppings. to go with some, some cheese right in the middle. I can tell you guys already, this just looks delicious, smells good. The flavors that I'm getting off of this thing are incredible. Now, some of you might say, he went OD on the cheese. Well, yeah, I kind of did, but it's um, low fat, skim. So again, it gives you the possibilities for kind of overindulging, if you will. So now, this is my secret ingredient. I'm not going to tell you guys what that is. Family secret. It's what I do to pizza all the time. And then we go with a little onion action. A little pepper action. Yeah. And if you notice, it's on one side because somebody on the other side don't do peppers and onions. I don't understand that. She's not my daughter. And then I add for a little more flavor of the resistance. A little grated cheese that has a little multiple of all kinds of cheeses. We just sprinkle that right over the top. 
Not much. That's good. And then we go right back in the oven. Now, your, your um, oven set at 400. You can get away with keeping it at that. Right back in the oven. I'm going to turn the heat up a little bit. Not by much. It's at 400. I'm going to crank it up to about 450. We're going to get that cheese to melt down and we're going to get this thing plated in a couple of minutes. So again, another great example of a recipe that you guys can cook right at home, real quick, with your kids, making it fun to do. So, you know, doing so, what that encourages the kid is, it encourages the kid to number one, cook for themselves, but number two, you're cooking healthy. All right, and that's the bottom line is that you want to get your children healthy with you. All right, get your family healthy with you. Yes, it's our own private journey, but this is a journey that you could take with your entire family. And as I've said to you guys, my family has adopted this and taken it on, and they're eating well with it. Now we got to combine exercise with it so that we're doing everything right. So, again, you can't have one without the other and then expect to lose weight. So, I'm going to pause for the cause while we're waiting for the cheese to melt down. That'll only be a couple of minutes. And then we're going to have this thing plated and really ready to go. So again, thank you guys, Rock Kitchen. We'll be back in just a couple of minutes. All right, we're back. Got my Michael Jackson on. Hee hee. Ha ha. Anyway, listen, getting ready to finish this off. Let me tell you, great smelling recipe, great smelling aromas coming throughout the kitchen. So that only means one thing. It's going to be good. So let's take a look to see what the final process is. Oh, wow. This is nice. Smelled good right off, right from the gate. So there we have it. A nice recipe. A nice recipe that's VSG friendly. Again, what's VSG? Vertical sleeve gastrectomy. It's the surgery that I had to help me lose right now over 100 pounds. It's a great recipe. This is what we have in now where people say the easy part that we lost all this weight. Now the hard part starts where we're going to keep this weight off. And this is how we keep it off with meals that are low carb, good for you, got great substance and great taste. That's what's going to keep you coming back over and over and over again to the Rock's Kitchen. All right. I have been your, your boy Big Rock saying, yo, diabetes, type 2, gone. Sleep apnea, gone. High blood pressure, gone. High cholesterol, gone. All these things have met their match with vertical sleeve gastrectomy. Consult your local physician. See if you qualify for it. I hope that you do because that's the first step of a new you. All right? So, it's Rock's Kitchen saying peace and we made it. Talk to you later, guys. Be good. Let's dig into this and see how we got it. I think it's going to be pretty good. Well, I think so. But I can't tell you until after. Get some pictures of it and get, get the last little piece of it, girl. Get that, get that last little piece right there. Look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Rock's Kitchen, only on Facebook. Peace!